And our first scene is uh, a scene from California Suite, which is a 1976 play that was on Broadway, written by Neil Simon. And each scene in this play was later made into a movie. You may know the movie. Each scene in the play has a different set of characters as they visit Los Angeles and stay at the Beverly Hills Hilton Hotel. In this scene, Diana Barry, who is played tonight by Katya Smith, uh, she's a British actress, and she's a first-time nominee for the Academy Awards. So she and her husband, Sidney, Cochran, played by Brian Smith, are preparing to participate in their first Oscar ceremony. As Diana and Sydney get ready for her moment in the spotlight, her mood fluctuates from hope to panic, and he tries to make sure that she calms down, and he also tries to enjoy himself. And so, of course, between her hope, her panic, her craziness, and his trying to enjoy himself, you can imagine comedy happens. So we're going to now enjoy a scene from California Suite by Neil Simon. Where the hell is she? Finish the Undressed. I'm going to have a look. <sighs> disaster. Total disaster. Titanic and chiffon. What has the dressmaker wrought, huh? Where the hell is the car? There's either not much chiffon or too much of me. I'm listening to the left. Oh God, I hope it's the floor. Sydney, Sydney, come and look. And try to be gentle. They have to five o'clock. We should have been there ten minutes ago. Well? How much was it? Nothing. Joe Levine paid for it. Then I love it. Ah, you hate it, goddammit. I wish you wouldn't have such a good taste. Ah, what have they done to me, Sydney? I definitely have the hump on my left shoulder. I look like Richard III. Do you see the hump, Sydney? Isn't that your regular hump? Don't joke with me. I'm going on national television. Then there are no humps. I see no humps at this particular Sydney, time. it's all barked on the left side. Don't you see how it bunches up? Can you take the tissue out? <sighs> I'd better warn something simple. My black pantsuit, for example. Why the hell didn't I wear my black pantsuit? Because I'm wearing it. <laughs> we shouldn't have come, Sydney. I never know how to get dressed in this bloody country. It's so much easier to dress in England. You just put some nice warm clothing. Why did we come, Sydney? Because it's all free, darling. Glenda Jackson never comes, and she is nominated every goddamn year. We could have stayed in London and waited for a phone call. Michael Caine could have accepted for me. He would be bright and witty, and no one would have seen my hump. <laughs> Use your hump, dear. People will pity you for your deformity, and then you're sure to win. I have an idea, Sydney. Come, come. Come. Mm. <sighs> disaster, disaster. How about that? Put your arm on my left shoulder and keep it at all times. If I win, we'll go up together, your arm around me. And they will think we are still met for each other after 12 years. Hmm? Met for each other? I thought we still were. <laughs> I guess I keep forgetting. How many jeans and tonics did you have? Three gins, one tonic. You'd better catch up on tonics. We don't want to be disgusting tonight, do we? Uh, and this, what's wrong with my hair? It looks as if I brushed it with a towel. Hmm. When you played Elizabeth, you looked like a warthog, and you never complained once. Sydney, that's acting, this is living. Living, I want to be beautiful. My hair is the strangest color. I asked for a simple rinse, and she gave me dry eyes. What? Would you like me to put my arm on your head as well? That's bizarre, Sydney. You've got the most bizarre sense of humor. <laughs> bizarre people often do. I can't even dress like this. Hate, hate, hate. Why do I always feel so much more comfortable being as someone else? I could be perfectly happy going as Hedda Gabler. Try Quasimodo. Try shutting up. What time is it? Late. We are definitely late. Mm, just check me out. Check me out. So how do I look? Do you have too much jewelry on me? Jing one. I can't tell if I don't hear it. Would it be nice to me, huh? And give me one bloody compliment. I've been getting ready for this horseshit affair since 6 o'clock this morning. 
we are being reminded that nominees must appear at 5.30 for the press. The press? Oh, I can't wait to see how they will explain the comp in the newspapers. Oh, Diana. <laughs> what? I would say you're making a mountain out of a molehill, but I guess that would not amuse you. <laughs> Give me a cigarette. I'm going to be acidic tonight. Please, be sure to bring tongues. Tongues? And sit in front of America with a chalky white mouth? Here, dear. I think you better take a double gin instead. That will drown those butterflies. This whole thing's so bizarre, Sidney. So bizarre. Nine years with the National Theater. Three Beckets. Five shows. Eight Shakespeare's. And I finally get nominated for this nauseating little comedy. Bizarre. That's why they call it Hollywood. <sighs> Four rings. I'm not here. I don't care if it's the Queen Mother. I'm not, I'm not here. No, no, no. Hello? Yes, it is. It's, it's a car. It's a car. Yes, we'll be there in two minutes. Thank you. Why do you have all these things so early? No woman can look good at five o'clock in the afternoon, except possibly Tatum or Neil. We are being reminded that we must be down there at 5.30 for the press. The press? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see how they'll explain the hump in the newspapers. Oh, Diana. What? What? Mountain out of a molehill, I told you this. <laughs> the phone again, phone again. Hello? Yes, hi Joe, how are you? She's a bit nervous. I'm dying. You think she will? God, I hope so. Oh, and thanks for the wine, the flowers, the sweet, and everything else you send up by the hour. One moment, Joe. Here she is. It's no, Joe Levine. No, tell him I'm in the he camp. Wants, wants I'm in the camp. Listen, the man paid for this suite. He paid for a trip. He paid and got you the best role you've had in five years. I am not telling him that you are in the can. <laughs> then I'll tell him. <clears throat> Joe? Joe, darling, I told Sydney to tell you that I was in the can because I didn't want to talk to you. That's why I feel so responsible. I don't want to let you down tonight. I know how much this picture means to you, Joe. There will be no picture without you. After four studios turned it down, he deserved a special Perseverance Award. Oh, you're a chubby little man. I adore you. <laughs> if I win tonight, darling, there's not going to be an Oscar. There's going to be a Joe Levine. And you're an angel? Yes, and you're an angel, darling. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Well, that was sweet. Did you like it? That's going to be my speech. Your acceptance speech? Yes, except the part that I was in the can. <laughs> Naturally, we both know that I don't have a chance in hell. But you've got to prepare something. I can't just stand there sobbing with a harmed back. <laughs> Give me another drink, darling. Thank you. And stop worrying. I won't be pissed until after I lose. I think you have a good chance of winning as anybody. Well, I don't have the sentiment on my side. You've got to have a sentimental reason for them to vote for you. Any decent actress can give a good performance. But a dying husband would have ensured everything. Hmm? You wouldn't get anything special for me, would you, Angel? You should have told me sooner. Maybe I would have gotten a ticket on a Titanic. <sighs> we are terrible, Sydney. God will punish us. Think he already has. Drink up. <laughs> 